Yeah. That's the way our house is put together. Cutting a lot of timber to build me, so there's a lot of... Well, you're going to have to. A lot of you know, imagine you arrive here. Nothing but trees. <laughs> so you're clearing the land, you're cutting the timber to make the fort. Along with, they're sending lumber back to England. Yeah. Well, that's a commodity. England doesn't have a lot of lumber. And so, like we talked about, who are you bringing over? A bunch of young men. Labor is cheap in this time period. And how it works is we're not doing any sawing right now. But if you folks come out here, we stand right in the fort, we can see it. We're in the middle of showing stone. You guys see that, that tree up on those trestles over there? Yeah. So what? that's our pit saw. Okay. And so what you do is you cut down a tree with axes, and then you're going to use a hewing axe. It's a special axe with the head that's offset a little bit. And so you make it in basically a square, like that block of wood. You set it up, and then you take this massive two-person saw. One man gets on the top, one man on the bottom, and you're just pulling up and down, sawing working your way all the way to the end. Yeah. And so they're doing that because you look at the policy. You know, these are all sawed boards. Yeah. yeah. So that's what you're doing. That's how those boards in the wall up in upstairs bedroom that I've shown you with the saw marks. That's how they cut them. I live in a house built in 1842, oh, okay. post and beam house. And the walls were boards that were stood up cool. and sawed that way. And, uh, pretty interesting. And the beams, it's got eight by eight beams, and of course they were cut with them. I guess you call them all right. pod shaped axe. And hit it like that. Thanks for letting us look around. Boy, that's some hard work right there. <laughs>